Mentor Kirtland used a stingy defense and a ball control offense to dominate Coldwater 28-7 on Friday at Paul Brown Stadium in the Division 5 Ohio High School Athletic Association football final for 2011. It was Neanderthal basic football, 400 yards in a cloud of dust and MVPHD, of course, was there. My name is Alex Sater and I'm your host. And after the game, we had the good fortune to run into Tim Longevin at midfield. The Kirkland defense continued its dominating playoff ways, holding Coldwater to seven points, winning 28-7 in the D5 state championship game Friday at Massillon Paul Brown Stadium. Uh, this was their first trip to the state finals, and uh, they walk away with the, with the win. I guess the first time is a charm. They cap off a perfect season, 15-0. and 0. Uh, They rush for 410 yards, and uh, their defense th during the playoffs only allowed 29 points in five games. So, uh, once again, the defense continued to dominate. And uh, one of those players that was just tremendous was our running back, Christian Hauber. He carried the ball 30 times for 196 yards and two touchdowns. And he is going to be playing for Air Force next year. And then he was accompanied by a fellow running back junior, Damon Washington, who ran 18 times for 147 yards and two touchdowns, including his nice uh, see you later 81-yard touchdown romp. So pretty dominant performance. Uh, in the third quarter, Cold Waters junior quarterback Austin Bruns uh, led the Cavaliers on a six-play 80-yard touchdown drive that ended with Bruns scoring on a six-yard scamper, and that pulled Coldwater within seven points heading into the fourth quarter. But the Hornets, you know, responded. Uh, Huber broke off a 39-yard run on the ensuing possession, and that led to his second touchdown of the game. And uh, it's a pretty dominating performance by Kirkland. Uh, it really surprised me. I thought, wow, this is a chance. Coldwater can win a state title now. They don't have to play Youngstown Ursuline. But uh, their 1-2 rushing attack was uh, way too much for Coldwater to handle. I would like to see them play Ursuline. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty neat. You know, you know, they're strictly one-dimensional, though, I'll tell you that, because Islandman only threw the ball four times. Their quarterback, he was one for four. That was it. Uh, Austin Bruns uh, did okay passing. He was 18 of 34, 249 yards. Uh, he did get sacked a couple of times, and then he added another 64 yards rushing. Uh, his big playmaker was receiver Aaron Mestemaker. He had six catches for 94 yards. Uh, but, you know, the defense really came to play. Josh Ian Marino had uh, 10 tackles to lead Kirtland. Uh, Nick Ravelli had six and a half tackles and a sack. And uh, Cannon Schroeder had six tackles and a sack, including a tackle for a loss, too. So, pretty dominating. If Bruns has a big summer, then the sky's the limit for both he and for the Cavaliers. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can bet he's going to put in the time this summer. He's going to work hard. You know, his goal 
you know, is to win a state title, and, and he wants to play at the next level, at the D1 level in college. So he's focused, and uh, um, he'll he'll be fine. He'll he'll be fine. He he was okay this game. It's it just uh, their defense was too much. Um, you know, but Coldwater, I mean, they have nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, they've already won two state titles. This is their fifth state runner-up now. Um, so, and they're another team with a great playoff record. They're 45 and 15 in 17 playoff appearances. And sometimes I wonder, in Coldwater's case, they go through such a rugger schedule. You know, it can work both ways, you know, good and or bad. But, you know, you get beat down like that week in and week out and then come the championship game they're probably mentally and physically well you know maybe it, making excuses. well no just it's set up so that the D6 team has been playing you know uh, at least a, a level higher you know during the season than they are during the playoffs you know so the playoffs are actually kind of easy for them you know right. um, provided of course you're not talking about playing another MAC team however that doesn't necessarily Necessarily mean that you're on the same conditions for the D5 members of that conference, who, although you know, playing people like Delphos and Marion Local are going to leave you battle tested and probably in good shape for the playoffs. Maybe it's not as high a high level com competition as it would be needed to play someone obviously like Marcelin. Uh, Kirtland, you know, they went undefeated 15 and 0, and that is a school record for them. And, and it is the first time they've ever finished the season undefeated. So hats off to uh, Tiger Laverde and his, you know his, the head coach for Kirtland and, and his kids. They, it, it was a deserved win. They were really impressive, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Just straight and across had, the board. Yeah, they had both the thunder and the lightning. They had Hauber provide the thunder, and Damon Washington, you know, took care of the lightning part of it. P pretty tough combination to, to deal with at any level. To play in state championships, you are, you are a winner. You have had a championship season. You have upheld the tradition that is Cavalier football. This is your third straight trip to the state championship, and that's an outstanding accomplishment. First drive, you guys held the ball for six minutes and 30 seconds. How big was that setting the tone for the game? It set the tone perfectly. That was our plan to come out, get the ball, and set the tone right away. So we did a great job of that. Thank you.